A two-year-old boy is safe and sound tonight after a stranger took him and the car he was in on a terrifying ride, leaving his mother scared and confused. I didn't know anything. I just took off walking from my house to get here, basically. I, I really didn't know if it was a joke or real. And Ellen, that mother and family has been through so much today. Yeah, unbelievable. The most important thing, though, is that that little boy, Marze Thomas Jr., is safe and back with his family tonight. It's a story that we rushed to tell you about here at noon and have been closely following ever since. It all began at a home on North 26th in KCK, where his father left the boy in a car with the keys in it. A woman jumped in and took that car. Chased by police and the highway patrol at speeds of more than 100 miles per hour across the metro along I-35 until she finally stopped north of Lewisburg. Our reporters have been working this story all day. Abby Dodge is live near where that chase ended and Greg Payne was there when the little boy was reunited with his family. Greg, what a great moment for everyone. Brad, to be honest, you see the smile on my face. I mean, it just says it all. The moment that that family walked out with Marze Thomas Jr. is one that you can just remember for days and days, weeks and weeks, and just brings you happiness just so that you finally see that those two have been connected. And I mean, it was just a very emotional moment as, you know, before they got a chance to even see Marze Thomas Jr., the family was sitting right next to me and they were talking about how just how how miraculous this was. That was the word that the grandmother and the mother used very, um, very frequently was the word a miracle. That's all this really was. And, you know, the mother speaking with her once they were able to have the, uh, the child and they were kind of walking on out, we were speaking with them on camera. And the mother, she was so choked up and so shocked that she really didn't have much to say. But, I mean, between the both of them, they were just saying that this is just a situation that, you know, if anything different happened, we don't know what could have been, but they are just grateful about the fact that it did turn out the way that it did. Relief. From what I understand, high rate of speeds and that far out, uh, you know, wrecking, you know, anything could have been possible. So I'm just grateful for all this. Now, Marze was in very good spirits. He was actually making my job a little bit tough. He kept grabbing at the uh, microphone and having a great time, which was really great to see him with a smile on his face and just having fun and being a kid. And one of the things that the family had mentioned is that they haven't had an opportunity to meet that officer that initially responded to this and continued to go on with the pursuit when they had noticed that that vehicle fit the description that was put out there of the situation. So they are hoping that one day they have a chance to be able to just say thank you to that officer and also just thank you to everybody that took part in this, whether it's the troopers or the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department as well. Reporting live here in KCK, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV5 News. Yeah, big kudos to that officer. Th thank you, Greg, and, and so fantastic to see Marze back with his family. Now, we are still working to learn more about the woman who stole the vehicle. Abby Do Dodge joins us now live where the chase ended. So, Abby, can you walk us through what we're all hoping to learn. Yeah, Brad. Well, what we do know, of course, is that that little boy is at home safe tonight and he doesn't have any injuries. The driver of the stolen vehicle is also OK, doesn't have any injuries. But we're working to learn if the woman knew that when she was stealing the car, that if there was a child inside. What we do know, though, is that she was definitely putting that child at risk with the speeds that she was driving more than 100 miles per hour in some spots. She only pulled over after she had three flat tires, so it's safe to say she's going to face a bunch of charges in the coming days. We're checking with police to see if they know yet what all of those charges will entail, and we're trying to find out if she's been in trouble with the law before. Right now, she is in Wyandotte County waiting on those charges to be filed. Live in Miami County, Abby Dodge, KC, TV5 News.